Hi everybody, this is Richard Slay, and today I want to talk to you about starting over again with your wood shedding on the blues harmonica and coming from a little different angle about how to practice the major scale. This harmonica is built around the major scale. It's got a major scale in the middle of the harmonica. This is a key of C marine band. And I used to think I knew the major scale really well. I've been playing it for years. And recently I started doing some ear training exercises. I had somebody assess me and was throwing out things at me and saying, can you do this? Can you do that? And I, I was uh, very humbled by the experience. And I realized that I had a lot of woodshedding to do to get to certain levels with my uh, my ear training, my relative pitch. So here's where I'm coming from. Let me tell you a little story about the house that, that our family lived in in my hometown for a number of years. When we first moved there, it was a house that was built in 1880, okay? And it hadn't been... Uh, that hadn't had a whole lot of uh, upgrading done over the years. So we moved into it, and in the back section of the house that was added on, there was where the kitchen was. If you put a tennis ball on that floor and let go of it, it would just roll down to the other end of the room. And what was happening was underneath the house, there was a crawl space, and there was a stone wall under part of the house, but not under that part. And the, the house, that part of the house was starting to sink down because it didn't have a foundation. So we ended up going underneath that part of the house and digging out that crawl space, digging down to the point where we had a, 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 a basement and poured concrete and then built walls up from that and then jacked, basically jacked up the house that part of the house and put a new foundation under it really solid and then we could get to work on working on the rest of the house and this is kind of what i feel like i'm doing now with my own uh, being as a musician is going back to square one and really learning the major scale in a, in a thorough way and he, he, here's what i'm talking about Here's a test for you. If you, um, if you take this as your root, uh, okay, now you can probably sing the, the scale like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, and one. One, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So I'm singing the numbers because I think in scale degrees. And the major scale gives you the, the plain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everything else is in music theory, at least in, in the, the, our Western system, is built on how does it compare to the notes in the major scale. So until you get a super foundation on the major scale and can hear all of those notes instantly, it, uh, if, you, if you go on to more sophisticated stuff, you're always going to be dealing with that lack of foundation. And it's kind of a good news, bad news story. The good news is that you can develop that ear training through repetition, through the same way you do everything else. Once you've played a certain interval a number of times, you can start to hear it in your mind and you feel the vibration of that particular pitch against the root. Here's an example. There's the one. One. Now, I'm challenging myself to play some of these other intervals. Like, let's pick four. One. Four. Okay, got that one. One. Three. One, seven, wrong. See, this is what's going on. I'm not getting them all the time. So I, if somebody starts giving me numbers and I have to sing them, I'm not going to get them all right. And I, there are certainly people out there who are way far advanced in this area than I am. Now, don't get me wrong. I 
you don't need to do this. I've been playing for years and people tell me I'm real good, but <laughs> I know I can get a lot better if I nail this skill down. And here's, here's one of the ways that I've learned to woodshed on this. This is something I wanna share with you. And, and it really helps if you have a piano keyboard to do this and you sing it first because the singing is what gets it in your system. One, now, here's an interval I've gotten pretty good at. The sixth. One, six. And I started working on that one a while ago thinking of Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Okay, so I got da da. Now, getting that same interval under the root. Da, 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 da. I have to get it in my singing range. Da, da. Okay, four days ago, I couldn't do that. I was, I was there or, so, you know, I wasn't on the, on the pitch. And so I started working on that, and I did it like thinking of the uh, kind of like Duke, da, 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 uh, like some of the '50s tunes, da 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 da, da. one seven six five four six five five six seven one. So if you start doing this, and you Find the intervals that you can't nail. That's what I'm working on, is find the intervals that I can't instantly nail, and then just start putting in the reps. It's just like anything else. It really hard until it's easy, and then once you got it, it's easy. Like riding a bicycle, all of those cliches are true. You struggle, it seems impossible, and then all of a sudden click, it clicks into shape. Da 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 da. Whoops. See, not quite there yet when I'm singing that interval under the root. So that's the one. That's one that I need to work on. Da da. Now, here's another, I'll just do another quick challenge to myself. The seventh above. La, 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 la. That's octave. La, la, la. So you get the idea. And like I said, there are some real, uh, there's some real holes in my system and I'm working on plugging them up. So I'm going to give you some more ideas. I use a freeze pedal and play the root. So one of the things you can do is take an interval that, that you're not nailing all the time and make it into a meditation. Just play that root. Like that, that seven above. Another way you can do this, if you have um, a recording software on your, on your computer, you can play a note and record it as long as you can. And then you go in there and you copy and paste it and paste it and paste it. And you can make a really long drone for yourself. That's another way to do that. If you're on the piano, you know, you can do this kind of... And just keep playing it. 
and just hang out in one of the, the every note has a different feel to it against that root and you start to Im, internalize that feeling of the note and you associate the degree one six that feeling one six one six and then you do it on your harmonica so you you want to be able to So these are, these are the things you can translate to the harmonica. And then you just keep banging away at this until you can think of an inner, play your root, think of an interval, and sing it under it or on top of it. So I'm going to be practicing this every day, and I'm going to do another video in a couple of weeks, and hopefully have some progress to, to report for you. I, I, I'm I know that this principle works. You repeat something enough times, and it, when, it's, when it locks in, then you've got it. And this is exciting to me, because once you hear these roots, that's one, four, five. That's the classic Louis, Louis, you know, riff. And, but to be able to hear that To hear the root of these different chords as you're listening to a song and then be able to write them down. It's, this is all very, very possible for anybody who puts in the time. You can develop this skill. It's just like anything else. It's like learning to do touch typing. Learning any skill comes from repetition and that includes ear training. So I hope that gives you some inspiration and some ideas on how you can practice this and then of course you can always take that to the next level and start working on patterns So I hope you found that thought-provoking, possibly inspiring. And I, like I said, I'm going to follow up on this in a couple of weeks. And in the meantime, if you if you take the challenge, test yourself. Sit down with the piano, play, guess some notes, play them, see if you're hitting them. Let me know how you're doing. And, uh, you know, maybe we can turn this into a uh, kind of a way of challenging each other to get better at, at a very, very core skill of being a musician is feeling that major scale and being able to name the notes instantly. All right. If you like what you're hearing, put a like down there. Let me know. Uh, subscribe. I'm going to be making more of these kind of videos and reporting on what I learn and what I think might be able to help you. So thanks for listening. I'll see you soon.